At first, I wasn't sure what we were going to get with this one, but I actually kind of loved it. Colin in black and white. It's time to talk about it. Let's go. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Club CXFM, brought to you by WeAreCritics.com, a place where we talk about movies, television, and pop culture. And if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe key and that notification bell so you can be up to speed about everything that I talk about here. Now, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Netflix has dropped a new series, a miniseries, only six episodes long, about 30 minutes each, uh, Colin in Black and White. Now, before I talk about what I thought about this, of course, in good fashion, we got to talk about what this is. Colin in Black and White is a new miniseries, auto autobiography uh, of former NFL player Colin Kaepernick. Um, and for those of you who have been living under a rock, uh, Colin Kaepernick is a former NFL player who played for the San Francisco 49ers, uh, who was opt out of his contract due to a protest. Uh, for social injustice and racial inequality. Uh, for those of you who missed out on this, it was a huge deal. Uh, some, a lot of us stand by, uh, stand behind. And uh, yeah, he hasn't played a game since about 2016. Uh, he stands by that the reason that he is not, uh, he's still a free agent. No one's picked him up. No one's given him a contract because of his protests to kneel during the national anthem before the games. Um, he was also followed by uh, another uh, teammate, uh, Eric, uh, Eric something, I can't remember his last name. I'm not really big on sports. I don't watch sports, but I am hip to what's going on in the world uh, when it is important. Um, but skip forward to 2021, Colin Kaepernick has teamed up with director Ava DuVernay, uh, who a lot of us know from uh, how, what, the way they see us, how they see it. I, I, I can't believe that I'm getting this wrong because it's one of my favorite uh, Netflix miniseries. Uh, we'll find out about what that is. But they have teamed up to uh, create a series, an autobiograph autobiography following Colin's life uh, as a high schooler who played many sports that I didn't even know. Me not being into the sports world and following Colin before all the hoopla, I, I am. I feel very privileged and honored to to know what kind of a young man he was uh, before the NFL. Now this guy, and, and I'm not going to spoil things for you guys, just so we can be clear. But I am going to talk in depth about this show because I think uh, it's a treat, uh, way better than I expected. Because at first I thought, what well, was this? You know, it's just like a cash grab because of his situation. And what's going on um and you know i just thought that you know the, the narrative now in the industry is that they're just poking the bear you know they're they're doing all these race race baiting series and shows and talk shows and things that kind of turn people against one another and i was very nervous i was like what is this going to be about um when they see us by the way is the the uh the series that i was thinking about with um Ava DuVernay. She also did Selma. She was producer on Selma uh, and uh, Queen Sugar. So, the series follows Kaepernick uh, for, in his high school years. Um, he's trying to decide what kind of a man he wants to be going into college. Uh, it is very, very emotional journey, and you get to see a lot of why Kaepernick is the activist that he is today. Um, I'm not sure on how much of this uh, is fictional if it is at all and how much of this is real but there are real situations in this that I know a ton of people in general can relate to uh, it is a very very emotional ride his parents uh, I forget what the mom's name but the father is Nick Offerman a lot of you guys will remember him from Parks and Rec he played Ron Swanson uh, he is brilliant in this the emotional tension that is in the home of this young man at a young age, played by um, uh, Jaden Michael, by the way. Jaden Michael is playing Colin. He is spotted. The casting in this is great. Uh, everybody's on par. Everybody looks the part. Everybody's playing the part well. Um, but beyond what it's about, because I, I don't want to get into too much of the plot, but there's a lot of a lot of emotional tension within his home alone. Uh, versus what he's dealing with outside the home. 
let's talk about the style of this thing. Ava DuVernay, um, as creator, uh, producer of this thing, the way that this story is told, the, the imagery, the visuals, Colin is the narrator. But as he's narrating it, you're getting a lot of style in the way that the story is being told. Uh, there, there, there's just so many things to take away from this series. Uh, three things. One, I would say, is the overall message. Two would be getting to know Colin Kaepernick for who he was or who he is and who he has become and understanding why he has become who he is. And another thing is if you are a film buff or a cinematographer, a aspiring cinematographer or you know someone who's into the arts of film, this is a, a very educated the style in which it's, it's being shot. I've never seen anything like it. I, I really have it. I, to me, I want to call this um, uh, Young Rock meets a modern day Wonder Years. Literally, Young Rock meets a modern day Wonder Years, but with a with a hip a hip look to it. Like I really enjoy the way that the story is being told and the way that in between storylines, Colin comes in and he gives you brief history lessons on certain behaviors. Like this thing isn't just race baiting or or causing conflict. It's educating with style. There's no denying that. It's educating with style. Like I was fully engaged. I thought I was gonna go in and just watch one episode and I ended up watching the entire thing in one sitting. It's not that long. It's six hours, I mean, six, six episodes, 30 minutes a piece uh, in I, like three hours or so. And I was, I was fully engaged. I laughed. I, 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 I teared a little, I, I, I got mad, I got upset, uh, I, felt, I felt a little, you know, depressed and sad, like, the emotional roller coaster that young Kaepernick goes through in, in this series, uh, it's very relatable, and it's told in such a beautiful way, shout out to Ava DuVernay, uh, and Colin for bringing this series, I hope it gets picked up for another, uh, another series, another mini series, or sequel of some sort, because I, I would love to see what happens you know, later on in his life. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all I got to say about this, guys. Guys, check out Colin in Black and White. If you're just, if you're a sports fan, uh, if you're a, a cinema fan and you like style and you like good stories, um, it's it's a pretty cool ride. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a, I thought it was really done well and I'm interested in seeing more. So hopefully Netflix gets with the program and they keep this thing going live. Guys, let me know what you thought. If you checked out Colin in Black and White, what did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do I not know what the hell I'm talking about? Let's talk about it in the comments, guys. Um, like, comment, share. Make sure you subscribe. It is available now on Netflix, so you guys can stream that now. Uh, and for more movie news, television news, pop culture, check out wearecritics.com, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.